Hello class, we are beginning lesson 6.3, subtracting signed numbers. So let's talk about the definition of subtraction. If we have A minus B, that is the same thing as A plus negative B. In words, to subtract B from A, we add the opposite of B to A. Just take a minute for that to sink in, write these notes down and let that sink in. Rules in subtracting one signed number from a number, from another. The first thing is you want to change the subtraction symbol to an addition symbol and change the sign of the number being subtracted. So if we have eight minus positive five, we're going to change the negative or the minus to an addition sign and then we change this positive to a negative sign. So we know that we take the absolute value of eight and subtract the absolute value of five. Eight minus five is three. So find negative three minus negative seven. So we're gonna follow the rules and we're going to take negative three, we're gonna change this sign to a plus sign, and then change this negative sign to a plus sign. So we have negative three plus a positive seven. So we are going to subtract the smaller value, the smaller absolute value from the larger. So seven minus three equals four. And this seven has, it's the larger number, so we are going to keep that sign, which is a positive sign. So this is a positive four as the answer. If we take negative five minus two, we're going, I'm gonna rewrite this, negative five minus two. This is a positive two. I'm going to change my signs. So negative five plus a negative two. Okay, so we're going to take the absolute value, which would be five plus two, and that equals seven. And then we, we notice that they have the same signs, and we're going to add that same sign on to our answer. So the answer will be negative seven. Subtract 87 from 25. Okay, we are taking 87 away from 25. Make sure you read that carefully. So this is going to look like a positive 25 minus 87. We're gonna change the signs. 25 plus a negative 87. We know from our previous rules, we're going to find the absolute values of these numbers and subtract the smaller from the larger. The absolute value of negative 87 would be just 87. And then we're gonna subtract the smaller value of 25 to get 62. Now, we are going to, since these, are, these signs are different, we have a positive 25 here and a negative 87 here. We keep the larger, we keep the value of the larger number. So the answer will be negative 62. Okay, let's work with uh, some fractions here. We have negative three and one half minus, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in parentheses, minus negative two and one fourth. Okay, we are first going to change the signs. So negative three and one half plus a positive two and one fourth. Okay, we wanna find the lowest common denominator, which will be four. So now that I have my lowest common denominator, 
This will become negative 3 and 2 fourths. And my bottom number will be 2 and 1 fourth. Okay. Um, so because the signs are different, I'm going to subtract my smaller number from my larger number using the absolute value. So 2 minus 1 is 1 fourth. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. And I keep the sign of my larger number. So the answer is negative 1 and 1 fourth. Practice some more of these problems and you will get the hang of it. Make sure you use the rules as you are working through the problems.